Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you're new here. Today what we're going to be doing is packing down or loading up my new makeup bag. So if you watched my previous videos, you know that I went to Ulta and I got a new makeup bag. So I am going from my old one that looks like this. And it's been super great. It's nice and, and like sturdy and thick, but I don't like how like there's a spot for brushes, but I don't like how it they fit in there. I don't I don't like the design of this bag. So I went ahead and got a new bag that looks like this. It has a spot for brushes on the side right here. You can see there. And then I'm gonna put my eye brushes in this front little pocket. So I figure we'll kind of do this like, it's all my favorite products are gonna go in this bag, you guys. This is gonna be my everyday, like, bag. So first things first, I'll start with eye brushes. I don't normally wear a lot of eyeshadow, but I can tell you the number one eyeshadow, like, brush that I have to have is something similar to this or this. Let me put these other ones down. So I have to have a flat. See how flat that is? See how flat this one is? I really prefer this one, but I want to leave it at home. Um, so it's dense and it really is good for packing on like a shimmer product like this, like this Space Cowboy, if you're gonna wear that, or I really like to use my fingers, but if I want a brush, this is the kind of brush I would use for that. And the next thing I would do is I would go in with a deeper color, probably for my Juvia's, uh, the Nubian palette by Juvia's. If I wanted to go in with a darker color on the outer corner, I would use something like this to kind of pack in there and swoosh, swoosh, swoosh here. So I have to have a nice fluffy brush for that. And then I just packed a few extras if I need to touch up my eyebrows. This one, this little small one will do. Or if I need to do, if I wanted to do like an inner corner highlight, what's a good, here, I'll use my Jaclyn Hill Iced Palette to just get about that much on my brush and really highlight that inner corner more so than it already was. So that would be what this brush would be used for. Um, and then these other brushes are just backup and extra blending brushes, you guys. I have plenty of those to go around. So the next brushes that I use consistently, well, I use this for my makeup, for my foundation and sponge. But the only thing is, is when I'm on the move, I may not have access to water to damp my, dampen my sponge, so I need some brushes. So the first one is this fluffy powder brush from um, Jaclyn Hill X Morphe uh, is the JH01. I love this for getting powder just all over the face. It's quick, easy, done. So I'll put that in one of those little, little slots right in here. You can see right there. Then I love this brush, this KVD um, number two brush. Um, it's one of my favorite brushes I've ever bought for cream contour. It's dual fibered, so it has natural and synthetic hairs in it to really get in there and put a contour in. Um, so that will be coming with me. I don't know why my light's flickering. Um, the next thing I got is a blush brush. This is my favorite blush brush. This is by Sonia Kashuk. So that's going to go in one of those little side pockets. And then for contouring, I got the angled blush brush. This is a little too dense for, for 
blush in my opinion, but perfect for contour or bronzer. So this will go in my bag as well. And that's it for the tools, you guys. Next, we'll move on to primer. And you guys, I have so many primers that I like. I love my e.l.f. Hydro Grip one, but I don't love it as much as I love this Wet n Wild Impossible Primer. This one is my second favorite. My number one favorite is really expensive and I don't, I haven't made up my mind if it's worth the money yet. But it's this Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. Um, really nice. I kind of got this from, what is that? Meredith, the girl who puts on a lot of foundation and she rocks it, you guys. Oh my gosh. I got this from her, or the idea from her, so I was influenced to buy that, and I really like it. I just don't know if it's worth that heavy price tag, but for now, that's going inside of the bag. So that'll be my primer that I use in there, and then for my powders, I really only have two powders that I've been reaching for, and they're both loose powders. The Jaclyn Hill Powder Powder Moves and the Cody Airspun Powder which it looks like I'm almost out. Maybe I have about another month left of the Cody Airspun. But the Cody Airspun is really, really good. The only thing that I like the way this one closes, it's a little bit more secure than this one. So I'm going to go with the Jaclyn Hill Powder Moves. And it looks like I have about the same amount in here, not much. So it'll be time to buy another powder. I need powder recommendations, you guys. If you have any powder recommendations that you think are worth a splurge or any from the drugstore, preferably loose powders, please let me know. Um, Cause it'll be time to buy those coming up soon. So I need foundation. You guys know which foundation I'm going to choose. I have Charlotte Tilbury's The Flawless filter. I love to use this as a, as a foundation in the summer. So it's not quite summer yet. So we'll leave that aside. And then I like the Sephora, uh, 10 hour wear protection foundation. I really enjoy it. It's nice and light for the winter, like light as in tone. Um, it is probably a medium coverage, but you guys, I also have the NARS soft matte complete foundation. Um, in the shade light 2.5. I hardly ever wear it, you guys. I just don't. I also have the e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation. I enjoy it. It's not long wearing enough for me, in my opinion. I just have it to do an affordable look, um, that you can achieve you know, the same results. It's just not as long wearing as a high-end one, in my opinion. So you guys already know which one I'm taking with me. The House Labs one. Oh, and I just got the It CC. We'll put both of these in there because I don't know which one I'm going to like better. But as of right now, House Labs wins every time. It's so great, you guys. So I'm gonna put both of those in there. Um, what comes after, I have concealer, which if I wear the House Labs foundation, you guys, I don't need a concealer. It's that good. Um, but just for funds, I have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer, and I have the NYX Bear With Me Concealer. I really like the one that has the sponge. I, I think Maybelline does it. It has the sponge tip on it. It's really nice, but I don't have that one right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the photo focus in there. I don't know which one I like better because I don't really wear a concealer that often, but it's there if I need it. Um, so after that, I usually go in with a cream bronzer. The only cream bronzer that I have is this NARS one. Look how dingy it looks, you guys. Oh my gosh. And look how much I have used. <laughs> I have used and used and used this product all the way up. So that's got to come with me. I love it so much. Then a powder bronzer. I have been using this Charlotte Tilbury prep one pretty, I hit the end. 
pretty consistently. Let me go ahead and put some on today. Blend, blend, blend up. Doesn't make much of a difference whenever you already have all your makeup done. So, I don't know. I'm either going to pack that one my physician's formula butter bronzer it's really good you guys i like it or my elf one i really enjoy it as well um my favorite right now has to be the charlotte tilbury it's so beautiful you guys but i'm also going to put in the physician's formula one because this makeup bag is big enough to handle both of them um my favorite blush so I have consistently been using this one and this is perfect for like fall and um, winter, the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Cheek Pillow Talk. But we're starting to move into spring, you guys, and I really want something a little bit more like vibrant for for the new springtime. So I'm going to pass on pa packing up this one um, and I'm going to go with... I like, I like this one for summer, the Luminoso one from Milani. I really enjoy that. You guys, I have had this party. <laughs> That's, see, you can see, party um, blush for forever. It says it's only good for 12 months, but I kind of like, mm, it's a powder, you know what I mean? I, I love this color, but I never reach for it. It's just kind of uninspiring to me. Um, oh man, I'm kind of back and forth here. We haven't picked out a blush, but I forgot about this bronzer. You guys, I love this bronzer by House Labs. It's so gorgeous. Um, but I think I'm gonna stick with those other ones and leave this one at home. Okay. Back on the blush, what are we gonna do for blush? I think I'm gonna bring my new Too Faced ones. This one is in Head in the Clouds. I really love this. This is like a go-to color for me, like this dusty rose color. Um, like I said, it's a go-to for me. This one is kind of branching out, you guys. This one's a little loud. Um, it's this Barbie doll pink. It's gorgeous. Um, in candy clouds. And I really think it's a dupe for the, um, the Dior one that was going crazy viral. I am not spending $40 on a blush, you guys. That's just not happening. I guess I kind of did with the Charlotte Tilbury one, but I'm not doing it again. So these, I think were only like 20 something dollars. So definitely worth it. Um, I'm going to pack those two, leave the Milani and the Tarte and the Charlotte Tilbury behind. Um, the next thing I do is highlighters. So I've really been enjoying this one. You can tell I've almost used it all the way up. It is Pillow Talk um, Beauty Light Wand Easy Highlighter. And it is, it really is a super easy highlighter. I don't think I have any highlighter on today, but uh, maybe I do. There's some sheen right there. I don't know what I have on, but um, I really enjoy this, so I am going to pack that with me. Um, powder bronzer. You guys, um, I have been using this one. This one's not my favorite. I've just been using it for the sake of using it, you guys. This is the um, Disney Fantasia by One Size, their limited edition one. Um, Mad bit of magic highlighter illuminator so it's it's pretty it's okay um it's just it's just okay um it really looks good over the um pillow talk wall highlighting wand but you guys my favorite highlighter ever is always going to be this Jaclyn Hill Iced. It is so gorgeous. I want to put some on right now. I don't really have 
a good brush for it, but I'm going to. Just put some, look at that. Ciao! It is, it is blingy. Look how gorgeous that is. That is so beautiful, you guys. Oh, that's gorgeous. I, I'm definitely bringing that. I have the House Labs highlighter in peach quartz. That's what it looks like. It's really nice too, but I'm going to leave it here at the house. I kind of keep a little bit of makeup everywhere I go. Um, I, am, I need a highlighting. I'm going to bring my Jaclyn Hill highlighter brush bring that with me. I just remembered we didn't pack one earlier. I also need a alligator clip pretty often or two. So I'm going to go ahead and put two of them in there. And do I want to do, I used to have two of the same. I'll do my purple and my blue, or the yellow one. They can go on the sides right here. And the next thing, the last thing I do is eyeshadow. If I even do eyeshadow, you guys, it's very rare. So I am going to bring this, the Nubian by Juvia's Place. It's brand new to me. Um, I used it once whenever I was like trying out the, um, whenever I was filming. And I just used this color and this color and I think this color so those three colors it's very much the the color story is just right up my alley you guys it is beautiful I like that it does not have a mirror on it it would actually be convenient if it did have a mirror because usually when I'm traveling I need a mirror but it'd be okay it'd be okay um, and single eyeshadows, you guys. So I went ahead and splurged and got the Space Cowboy. Um, let me wipe that off. Where, where are my wipes? Where are my wipes at? I can get one out. There we go. I'm going to wipe off that highlighter that I put on my hand and I'm going to go in and I'm going to show you the difference between Space Cowboy and something that's seven dollars for one instead of twenty four dollars. It was it, it's kind of it's stupid pricey the Space Cowboy one. It is beautiful you guys. I'm going to swatch it for you. Um, it's good for up to 24 months. See powders normally last longer. I'm not a fan of the packaging. It's just kind of cheap filling to me, whatever. But I'm gonna use this finger to go in, make sure that's dry back there, and right there. It's very goldy looking, um, more goldy looking than it is, like look at it on my skin versus in the pan it looks different. So it was hyped up, yep, I got it, cool. Um, it's there, but you guys, what I love even more than that are these singles from Sephora. You guys, they're so worth it. They're seven or nine dollars. I can't remember, but this is in Twinkle Twinkle. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to use my middle finger for this one. Swirl it in there. Swatch it next to Space Cowboy. You guys, look how similar they are. Look how similar they are. And I feel like this one normally shows up better. You guys, I might have like stumbled upon a dupe here. But this is Sephora Singles in Twinkle Twinkle. Look how similar they are. Hmm. The next favorite that I have is a Sephora Single in Hippie Girl. You guys, this is what I have on my eyes today. It is so beautiful. They're a little hard to open, unfortunately. I'm just gonna use my pointer finger right in there. 
and go right next to that one. Look how beautiful that is. Very peachy looking. I have on my eyes today. Very beautiful. That's going with me too. Oh, one more tool. I have a, a sharpener. Uh, it has a big size. And if you can see a little size over here. I haven't even used it yet. So into the box it goes. Um, trying to think of anything else that I normally use need a setting spray um i'm thinking i'm going to pack up this fm one i have the morphe actually i'm going to pack up the morphe continuous setting spray you guys i love it so much even though it's new to me i love it love it that's going to go in a little slide pocket there we go and i need my wipes again to get those eyeshadows off my hand. Now I'm just left with a bunch of glitter. Hmm. Uh, what I have on my lips today, I don't even know if they sell this anymore. I think it's a year or two old. This is 04 or 40 in the Color Burst Revlon. It's this beautiful orange color. Very cute, very spring. So that's coming with me and eye product i think i'm going to pack up all of these so this is a dual sided one it's got brow product over here and lash product over here i really feel like i don't wear much clear lash stuff but it's there if I want it and the brow gel is nice you guys it really oh oh I got a little copy there but it really makes them lay down I don't care if I'll get my bang in there and it'll be laying down too so that's what that looks like Got my brows a little too dark. But I could rather have them a little too dark than blending into my face. Um, and then I have the, I actually prefer this one, the Kosas uh, Air Brow. But it's getting dingy because I don't know, I've used it. <laughs> so it used to be clear, now it's getting a color to it. So I'm going to leave that one at home. Um... Oh, I got a setting spray, I have brow gel, and now I just need a mascara. So, my favorite mascara that I've been using is this one by Patrick Ta. I love it so much. It's in the color, just black. This is what it looks like. It's nice and it's a very moist formula. Sorry if you don't like that word, but it is. Um, that's what the spoolie looks like. It's very nice. And I think I'm going to pack that up, you guys. And that's kind of all I really need. And it's not even filled to the brim. Like, I still have plenty of space to put hair care products in there. Awesome. I will pack up this little Morphe, uh, switch, color switch thing for when I'm doing eyeshadows. And... Then I'm probably also going to put in there this Lime Crime uh, Wet Cherry, I don't know what color this is, Naked Cherry Gloss. I wonder what it will look like over orange. Hmm. It smells like cough syrup, like very cherry -y. But I still like it. So it still looks orange. It's pretty clear looking, but just adds more gloss to it. So there's those items that I'm packing up. And I think that's everything I'm going to take with me, you guys. So this normally comes with me to my fiance's house. 
um, or to work if I don't have like time to do my makeup at home. I will do it at work, which I'm probably not supposed to, but I do. Um, I just have to be stealth about it. Like I start off with a, a little bit of foundation, a little bit of powder, a blush, bronzer, and by the time an hour passes, I have a full face of makeup and they're like, did you do your makeup? I'm like, well, I came in this way. <laughs> okay. You guys, thank you so much for tuning in. That's everything that I've put in my new makeup bag. Um, and that is my favorite makeup products, you guys, that I have at the moment. Um, if there's any other, if, what's your guys' favorite makeup products right now? Uh, leave me a comment down below. I would love to know. And also, really, if you have any powder recommendations, I need powder recommendations. Thank you guys for tuning in. I love each and every one of you. And we will see you next time. Bye.